Okay, so let me be real with you guys. I'm aware, and you're aware, that Half-Life has been gone for quite some time, right? I mean, my last upload of it was episode 14 back on the 29th of June. Where's it gone? Is it continuing? What's happened exactly? Well, let me explain. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, over time I've realised I'm really not that motivated to record Half-Life, making it hard for me to continue the series. You guys may be enjoying the final product with each episode, but I'm not enjoying the production with this, sadly. However, fear not, as this doesn't mean the series is cancelled. I'm just taking another approach to it to change things up, Dad. Now, about why I'm not enjoying this project, as you probably can't quite see this from my view. Let's talk about that, shall we? I'll admit, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to content creation. One person will look and go, oh, that's just a minor detail, don't worry too much about it. But for me, that minor detail is often major in my eyes. When people are happy with stuff I throw out, I too would like to be happy with it, you know? And in Half-Life's case, that didn't happen. And furthermore, there was no detail to me. Like, at all. You might be asking yourself, oh, but it's just a blind playthrough, who cares? It's just down to your first time experience, that's what they're after. Correct, it is a blind playthrough, but even still, I do like to go the extra mile and throw in something new if I can. You can cook a nice meal, but what about the spices, right? You're just not gonna like it as much without that flavour. It's not important, but it sure does make it the difference. So I'm going to go on and compare past blind LPs I've done to Half-Life, and explain why there is no spice. Going back to my previous blind series before this, Mega Man X4, let's look at one episode and break down what I feel happy with. We'll go for episode 5. I don't see why not. It's not really that much of a Oh my god, I'm on a bike. I was not expecting this, man. I was kind of expecting to go underwater, similar to like launch octopus, but... I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this, this is awesome. <laughs> I wonder how long though this is actually gonna last, or is this the whole level? Right, for a start, this game has an exciting and fast pace, which also reflects in the commentary. You can really tell that I'm into the game, and wanting to play more. Now, let's go to Half-Life. Oh great, another one of those. It's underneath there as well, isn't it? There you are. You goddamn thing. Oh my gosh, is it even getting it? Yeah, it is. God, I wasn't sure if it was or not. I would like to get those, though. Okay, certainly not the worst. The voice is still passionate, but it's a tad less into it, don't you think? If I bear this in mind with all the other ones, I should be good to go. I'm actually kind of glad then that I didn't just progress on and uh, choose to use my X Buster. Because I've learnt my ways from uh, X2 and 3. I wouldn't say X1 at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the slightest, considering I played through the entirety of the Sigma stages without even being aware that I could use my, um, weapons supercharged as well. That never caught on to me. And I don't know why. Ah, nice. So even though I'm playing this game, it gives me time to branch up another other subjects, keeping me immersed while also amused. Not bad. What about Half-Life? Don't you even think about it. I mean, he's dead already, so why the hell not? Leave my friend alone! Which he kills it immediately as well, check that out. <gasps> health. Ooh, I could do some health. Oh, I see. You're talking about exactly what you see. But fair enough, I'm sure it picks up though, right? Oh my god, am I stuck? Okay, I'm not stuck, I'm, I'm fine. Hello! Okay, I'm about eight minutes into this, and he's still just saying what I see. That's really cool. Don't wake me off. Oh, for God's sake. This, to me, is exactly my problem with the Half-Life series. The commentary, while definitely interesting to others, is more just capturing the view of Gordon Freeman rather than me, Calham64. He doesn't have the time or moment to branch out what he wants to say like usual, due to the nature of the game. I feel this isn't due to the game, but due to the genre, see? 
this is a survival horror game which I've never tackled before on the channel. And of course, in those games, you need to be on the alert all the time to survive, preparing for the unknown, meaning I can never find the comfort zone to branch out when I want to. If my commentary is to be very little, I feel this is more suited to a live stream rather than an official YouTube project, as it's all just gameplay and reaction based. Again, no spice. You can even look back on other past blind LPs I've done like Metroid Prime, Donkey Kong Country and Spyro 3, then when jumping to Half-Life notice this giant emptiness. So no, I'm sorry. The Half-Life series is cancelled, and I won't be continuing as I just do not like it. Or is it? <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, I made that one obvious, didn't I? Yeah, I'm gonna be taking the approach to this, as you guys did ask for this in the poll all this way back, and I don't want to let you down. You now know that I despise recording Half-Life, but did I say that about the editing? Editing Half-Life is super fun. I'm grabbing the uncut source material, I'm breaking it down into engaging moments, and cutting out all the dead air. Not to mention it gives me plenty of time and flexibility to add in extra little things I like and want to show. Ah, so good. You're fine editing it, but how are you going to enjoy playing it for us? Let's rewind this video for a minute. If my commentary is to be very little, I feel this is more suited to a live stream rather than an official YouTube project. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Rather than recording Half-Life, I am instead gonna stream it in sessions. I feel this would be more effective and a better incentive for me to continue playing, as the commentary is, like I said, reflecting the stream more. The cool part is the magical art of editing though. Much like the LP series, this will be all broken down to important moments and uploaded in parts, as well as chat being anonymous, so there'll be no noticeable differences, hopefully. There might be the odd interaction with chat or newbies here and there, but for the most part, private. So yeah, the series will continue, but just be done slightly differently as all. I will be starting the game from the beginning though, just so I get the full experience again for the streams. And the LP episodes will still remain up, but just continue after I've caught up and got familiar. Confirmed, Half-Life will be continuing, but I would also like to make time for a brand new LP series, while this one is very easy for me to crank out, because at the end of the day, I want to be satisfied with what I'm doing as well. I will be doing another blind LP, and this one will be fully recorded alongside Half-Life to make up for my stupid mistake. Right now, there is a poll on my YouTube community page with five different blind LPs for you to choose from, so make your choices. These games are ones I am fully up for playing with no issues, so don't worry. You guys get Half-Life Continued and a brand new series on top of that to make things feel fresh and continue. So hopefully that makes up for it. Anyway, yeah, I've rambled on long enough. Thanks for listening to me talk about my mindset and process of content creation, as well as how over the top I am. <laughs> Your continued support is always appreciated, and I'll see you guys on a fresh start.